us to use our platforms to educate and to impact. A lot of things have been happening today, and uh, or my, uh, and I'm going to give my my opinion, or rather my a little advice to a few people on this platform so that they can get it very clear. Listen, dear ladies, number one, when you meet anybody here on TikTok, guys, and you decide to go and do digital uh, sex stuff with that person, 90% of the times you are being recorded. That is the truth that I know many of you women do not want to hear. That is the truth that you don't want to know. That is the truth that you don't want to hear. But I can tell you, when you meet men here on this platform, especially online, and you don't know them personally, when you decide to go and have sex with them online, I can tell you 90% of the men you meet here are recording you. They are going to record you and there's really nothing that you can do about it. And by the way, let me tell you, it is very, very okay to meet men online and it is very, very normal to go and have online sex with men. Those are things that happen. Nobody is stopping you from having online sex. But I can tell you that having online sex and deciding to put yourself in that situation comes with consequences. Some of those consequences are things that we really cannot fathom. Some of them, they are things that can harm us in ways that we cannot recover. They are things that are we cannot take and we stand to be in denial most of the times. One thing I'm going to make very clear is that any man that decides to share your videos or share your nudes out here is the bad person. The person that decides to share these videos and puts them out there, that is the person that we actually need to call out as women. That is the person we need to call out. And I'm going to tell you because um, on the issue of Nyako, because I'm going to refer to her and mention her name. Yes, she engaged in whatever she engaged in. Yes, they reached a point where she was recorded and perhaps she wasn't aware. I can tell you for sure that at this point, what you can do for yourself is get a proper support team, a team of women who understand revenge porn, people who understand the repercussions of what is about to happen to you, because those videos, they are out there. And me as Diana, I can never ever be at a place where I will share information like that about a fellow woman. The saddest bit perhaps is that it's, it does not just involve one individual. It's been many people. And I think that uh, what, what is going to come ahead, uh, a lot of you are not prepared for. But me, me as Diana, people bring information to me. I don't go looking for information from people unless to naongea na wewe kwa simu. A lot of people decide to share information with me. For reasons I cannot explain, but there's information about women, my fellow women, I cannot put out here. Never. I can't. I would never ever do that to a fellow woman. I would never because I have seen what revenge porn does to women. Okay. I was on Facebook when revenge porn almost killed Rachel Shebesh and she's a personal friend. I saw what it did to her. And it took a team of women who had to literally surround her and cover her so that she's safe. It took a lot of work for the women who actually went and surrounded her to be at a place where Rachel is today. And you saw after what happened, she never really recovered. Her political career went down. It was completely gone. Nobody wanted to believe or wanted anything to do with her because kuomba kura vipi? Anaenda kuomba kura kwa nani? Na angeanzia wapi? Unaona? Kwa sababu ile kila mara uchi ya mwanamke ikiwekwa pale nje 
hata akiwa uchi na mwanaume pia yako uchi na mwanaume amewekwa pale nje hakuna mtu ataona mwanaume yani vile dunia ilivyo ni mwanamke atakemewa the woman will be vilified will be put down the woman will be dehumanized the world is already against us as women guys we need to do better especially when it comes to revenge porn on this particular issue tafadhali mimi mwenyewe i have been a victim in that group of buyer beware where ati herself alikuwa ana post mapicha na comments ana approve za wanawake kama wameni photoshop kama mwanamke ako uchi wakiweka hapo kwa groups so i know where this is going and i know where it has it, i know the repercussions guys so i can tell you i might have my big differences with nyako or any other person on this platform but me diana because of my values and what i stand for i would never be the person to share her nudes with anyone i would not do that and i'm gonna ask women on this platform who have respect for themselves and respect other women and believe that their platforms are supposed to be empowering other people not to be the people who are actually spiraling and moving forward this agenda you've got to be protectors of women tutachambana hapa tutatusiana lakini kuna mahali lazima tufikirie na tutumie akili zetu we cannot be the people that are enabling the violent nature of men to actually put another woman down let us allow another woman first afanye babaya kwa mwanamke mwenzake lakini tusiwe watu ambao tunakubali mwanaume adalilishe mwanamke and that is why i have no respect for women who sit on platforms where women are being degraded by men unakaa kwa platform na mwanaume ambaye anatusi mwanamke mwenzako umekaa na yeye kwa platform unacheka na yeye unachangia mada unazidi kudhalilisha mwanamke mwenzako una akili kweli una akili na ni sisi tu wanawake ndo tutazidi kuku funika mabaya yakitokea but you you don't see it you cannot be sitting in platforms with men that have no respect for women and expect us to see leadership in you you can't and my appeal to women on this platform you might not listen to me today but i'm telling you unaona hao wanaume wote wanakaa kwa ma platforms na wanadhalilisha wanawake wacha niwaambie hawajali hata mboro zao zikiwa hapa kwa, kwa, kwa platform hawajali big daddy huyu mboro yake imeanikwa ajali si unamwona baada ako na watu kwa platform hakuna mtu anajali mboro yake ikiwa nje Haya, huyu pita kioi mboro yake ilianikwa. Si mnamuona bado wako hapa kwa hii platform. Raf muli mboro yake na, na uchi wake uliletwa hapa. Si mnamuona bado wako kwa platform. Yeye yeah, 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 still thriving, they are still thriving. But what about the women? Listen women, this is not the time for you people to think anything different. You are the same women that still go to Boscan platform akitusi wanawake bado mnaenda huko Rafmuli akitusi wanawake bado mnakaa na yeye kwa platform Hali ile hali ni hao wanaume wenyewe ndio wananyonga na nyinyi mimi nimeletewa picha mingi za huyu Rafmuli akinyonga na wanawake hapa Nimeletewa picha mingi za Legrand akinyonga na wanawake hapa Sijawahi kuzihanika kwa nini But you find stupid women sitting on platforms with men that have no respect for women and encouraging them kutusi na kudhalilisha wanawake. Na mnafikiria you are safe. You think you are safe. You think you are in a good place. There is a reason why people claim that I don't like men on this platform. No. I just don't entertain men that have no respect for women. And the reason why I went to Big Daddy's platform is because I have been trying to talk to Big Daddy just like I talked to Malisafi to make his platform safer for women. That is something that I was doing. My engagement with Malisafi was basically to ensure that he creates a platform where he can keep 
women safe and protect women. And that is the same thing I'm trying to do with Big Daddy. Every day I keep on talking to him the importance of respecting women and using his platform in a way that does not dehumanize women. Those are the engagements that I can have with him and nothing beyond that. Damn. Hopefully, he's going to reach a point where he'll realize it's important for him to do better. Wanawake wengi hapa wameanikwa na wameanikwa hapo na hao wanaume. Wanawake wengi wameanikwa hapa na wameanikwa na wanaume. But you will find wanawake ndio wana, wanazidi kukaa na hao wanaume ambao wanaanika. Wanaanika wanawake. Why? Why do you do this to yourself? Why do you degrade yourself? Why do you dehumanize yourself to that point? For what reason? Ni nini kwa nini unaji unajishusha bei kila wakati? Do your content. Women who are supposed to be big and using their heads. Thank you Koboli. Thank you guys. Thank you Magiptas. Wanawake ambao wanafaa kuwa wanatumia akili zao, wanaongelelea kwenda ati wameenda shule na wameelimika. Wanaka kwa platform mtu akiongelelea kuma ya mwanamke mwenzake na kuongelelea mabaya na mauongo ya mwanamke na wanacheka hata huyo nyako na mshangaa sana akienda pale kwa ile platform na hiyo platform ndio iko na wanaume ambao wanadalilisha wanawake kwa saa hizi you think you are safe and i remember saying this and i told you very well that one day one time gigi ata angamiza nyako. Muna kumbuka nikisema? Do you remember what I said about Gigi? What has she done today? Ni nini amefanya leo? I said this long long time ago. Na nikasema mwanamke yoyote ambaye anakuja karibu na wewe na anakuambia wewe ndio kila kitu you are the only person you are the true person when ni mtu mtru na kuheshimu you are the best thing you are everything that is the same person that will destroy you that kind of relationship is abnormal it's not normal hakuna kitu kama ati ati i love you you are the best you are my everything the everything you do yani uko na mwanamke mwenzako lakini kila kitu yenye anafanya yes 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 any time you see this yes people watu wanakubaliana na watu na vitu zenye wanafanya hata yawe mabaya lakini wako tu yes and they protect you those are the people that will bury you and let me tell you the last nail in your coffin yako is going to be ati and I hope you guys mark this date na mtakumbuka Diana alisema. Anybody that seems to you, anybody that submits and claims, Presda, you are the best, ukona nyota, you are blessed, you are the chosen one, hypocrites. Those are the weakest human beings that can never ever have a stand anywhere. Heri ukue na heta mwenye ako open than a person that hates you na ako karibu na wewe aki kurab kila saa anajifanya anajifanya kando yako anakufunika kila siku those people don't care about you ati munafikiria wanawake wako karibu na wewe ti wanakujali akina magdaa o kinati you think they care about you they don't give a damn about you my dear the only reason why they are around you is because you give them the viewership you give them the visibility and you also add coins when they sit on those platforms. Mwana mke gani yako na akili anaka kwa live kutoka subuhi mpaka subuhi ya kesho? Akiwa ameota tu hapo hapo hapo. Amekaa tu chini. Ako hapo amekaa chini. Mimi wacha kuniambia ati anani address. Ati ni kama umbwa. Ndio nimesema ni kama kijakazi. Kijakazi hata akini address huwa sipeti. I don't pay attention to it. Mtu analamba matako ya mtu mnakuja kuniambia hapa eti anani address. Yeye alambe matako huko pole pole akijaribu ku protect her coins na ku protect her upcoming game. That's not a person that I need to even pay attention to at ninataka ku address. Taka taka very useless person. This is not a person that inaweza ku address. Huyo ni umbwa, ana bweka tu bweka 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 because hiyo kubweka ndio itamuongezea coins.
Anabweka kidogo hivi. Bwe, 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 bwe. Coins zinatupwa huko juu. Anaziweka. That is what she is. A barking dog. And I don't really think I have time for that. So don't come here to report to me that a dog is barking somewhere. I am addressing the owner of the dog. That's a person I pay attention to. Now nyako ni mekuambia. Sex comes with responsibility. If you are not going to have responsible sex, you are going to have more of your videos coming out here. You, the problem with you, you don't listen to anybody. Mtu akikuongelesha, you cannot be advised. Hakuna mtu aneza kukuambia chochote. You think you're always smart. You are the greatest person in this platform. You are the leader. You are the chosen one. Hakuna chochote unezo kambiwa. Huskiki, kuambiliki. Onge giminya pundi in. Nothing. And that has been your greatest downfall. Your big mouth. And the thing is, you do things up, up a platform. You pretend to be a completely different person. While outside of the platform, you are a person. Hmm? Big daddy. Big daddy. Unatuma gift gani yo hapa? Na kwanza Big Daddy you need to climb up here because nimekuambia kwanza Big Daddy I need to address you wewe. Nikisha maliza kitu nasema. Wewe uko na tabia mbaya sana kwa hii platform. If you don't change your behavior wewe Big Daddy utajipata pali pabaya. Hii story yako ya kunyonga nyonga na wanawake ni kitu kimbaya sana and you need to stop it. You are a mad married man. We ni mtu uko na bibi, suwe shimu wata bibi yako. Eh? Idu wanyuri, unatuwa ibisha hapa kwa platform. And then you just do things, yani unaona naongelelea kitu serious, unakuja hapa unafikiria ni mchezo. It's very wrong what you're doing. Unaona? We ujali, hata uchi yako ikiwa inje, lakini hizo vitu unafanya, they are very bad. Even those women that sit on your platform. Sijui nini mbaya na nyinyi. I don't understand. Na nimekuambia we Elena, usipochunga, we uko next. Nimekuambia Elena, usipochunga, you are next. Next ni wewe tutaona hapa uchi zako. Tumeshaona, tumejua na tukisha za kiki pia ziko nje. Tumejua. Very bad. Nani anatoa hizi vitu? Sinia wanawaume. It is this man ndio anatoa hizi vitu. No wonder, nilikuwa na shanga. Kwa nini? Hawa wanawake, hawaezi wakaka pole pole, yani watoke wa detach from that platform. The reason why these women are not able to detach from that platform is because he is blackmailing them. Big Daddy history yako ya kunyonga, it's gone beyond what it's supposed to go and you need to stop it. Tafadhali for the sake of your family. At least respect your family. Respect that you are a father and do better. Tafadhali, hizi vitu zenye unafanya hapa, unazichukua kama ni mchezo, but trust me, those things have consequences. Hizi vitu ziko na consequences mbaya sana. And they affect people. Na sahi naona, nyako anakuja hapa kujifanya eti atishi strong. My dear, you are not strong. When it comes to revenge pain, when it comes to revenge porn, my dear, hey, you are not strong. Na nime kuambia, tafuta a strong, supportive group of women to be around you. People who will be telling you the truth. You've had a lot of liars and simpers around you. People who cannot give you the truth that you need. You need to be told the truth each and every day because you cannot see. You can't see. Wewe uko hapo tu na masimpers around you. Watu ambao wako kwako because they know you give them visibility. Hi Irene Olwa. Na nimekuambia a lot of the things that are happening to you even today you really cannot come and cry foul and say that a woman is shouting at kwa nini mwanamke mwanamke anakudhalilisha. Turudini kwa ukweli kidogo. Nyako amedhalilisha wanawake mara ngapi kwa hii platform? How many times has Nyako disrespected women on this platform? Umedhalilisha hata wale wanyu wameshakufa, wameaga. 
you have disrespected women. You've disrespected women so much on this platform. A lot of the things that you are doing here are repercussions of your actions. A lot of the things that you're doing here are repercussions of your actions. Ume dalilisha watu wakwenu, watu wakwenu, uka dalilisha si marafiki, uka dalilisha hata watoto wako, ume dalilisha mpaka wazazi wako. Wewe mwenyewe, ume dalilisha wazazi. Wewe mwenyewe. Na nimekuambia hii ulimi, si mchezo, na mini likuambia, na nyako na kurudilia. Mimi, vile ulivotaja mamangu umfu. If you do not come back on this platform and apologize to my mama Joyce, bado, ndiyo mwanzo, and I'm telling you. You, are, you need to fix it. You always come back, etu una apologize, unaambia watu you are sorry, but you do not honor your words. You don't stick by them. You do not. You just apologize because it's something that makes you happy at that moment. It gives you the content that you need. It gives you the content that you need. You need to start checking yourself and your actions on this platform. Vitu umefanyia watu ni makubwa. You've done a lot of bad things. And let me tell you, the chickens are coming home to roost. The chickens are coming home to roost. And I'm speaking like this because I heard you say that wewe ati uwezi uka, 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 unashanga kwa nini mwanamke anapanda kwa platform kushout kudalilisha mwanamke mwenzake. Come on. Have you ever checked and listened to yourself and the things that you say? Wewe vitu zenye unasemanga kwa hii platform, have you listened to yourself? Umejisikiza kweli ukasikia vitu unambia watu? Wewe ni mtu unadalilisha hata mtoto mdogo. Ukadalilisha mpaka watoto ambao wadogo. Una, una, unaambia mama, mama mi ni nyati. Odio, 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 atiende ya kanyonyeshe umbwa. Wewe. Unafikiria your words don't have power? You think your words don't have power? Unaita wazazi wa watu na mikundu yao. Sasa ona mkundu yako ndo ikopale inje telegram. Mkundu yako ndo iko kwa masimu za watu. Can you imagine that? Look at that. While out here, you pretend to be such a perfect person who is always careful about what you do. Look at the way you're being shamed. Kama sio mavuzi ya baba za watu ni kuma na mkundu za baba za watu. Unatusi mbaka wafu. Unatusi mbaka wafu. Alafu kisha fanya mabaya, ya kisha kupata, you are the first person to talk about God. Unaongelelea mungu, unaongelelea siku ya pasaka, sijui sabato, sijui nini. You are very quick to pull the God card. Hmm? Unajua kuita mungu sana arakaraka, akuje. Non. Ati ya wake tuumbwa inafaa kuwaka, inafaa kuwaka hivo. You are the first person to call the God card. Oh, God, 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 God. Mungu yuko, mungu yuko, mungu anaona. There's nothing. You're gonna be, you're gonna be responsible for everything that you've said on this platform. Na mini mekuambia. If you do not take your time, trace, trace back your steps and apologize for all the things that you have done to other people and women on this platform, especially when you umewa body shame, uka body shame watoto, paka wazazi, uka ita mikundu za watoso, na kila kitu za wazazi, na kuambia, you are not going to have any peace. Kuna watu umedalilisha hawaja wai kuongea, lakini machozi ziko hapa ndani, wanalia kila siku. Kuna watu umedalilisha, wenye hawaja wai kuongea, Na kuna watu ambao wanaongea kama mimi. Na minta kwambia ukweli. You do not have any leadership qualities, my friend. You just have a group of psychopaths walking around with you that keep lying to you every day about you being a leader, yet you are nothing. You are nothing but a heckler. A weak heckler that chooses to have irresponsible sex.
online. That is what you are. You just yap, 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 yada, 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 and you are very manipulative. You are very, very manipulative. Now your God card, it's so sad. Every time there's something going on in your life that you're wrong, instead of taking responsibility for your actions, in the beginning, ulisema hata ujawai kunyonga na big daddy. Sai umekubali, umewai nyonga na ye. Uko na tabia za Jacqueline. You guys are almost the same. Mko tu kitu kimoja. Band moja kwa kitabu moja. WhatsApp group moja ni yenu. You should be ashamed of yourself and you need to really, really retrace your steps. Wewe mwenyewe. Mimi siwezi kurelease video ya mwanamke mwenzangu. Mbona si kurelease picha za ati vile mume wake alituma picha zake? Vile kume wake inavoka kama chui? I did not. I can't do that. Those are things that I don't do. Those are things that ati mwenye anaeza panya siyo mimi. Never. I don't do such things. Mimi siko kwa hiyo league jamani. I don't do such nonsense. That's not something that I do. I have that kind of integrity for women. In fact, ikifika kwa wanawake, I will protect you. Vibaya sana. I will protect you with my all when it comes to that. Revenge porn is not something that I'm very okay with. Never. I will protect women, protect them with my all. In fact, I do not, I do not, and I also do not agree, and I will never agree with Nyako until she changes, but siwezi nika share nudzake. Never. I don't do that. Because at least I have some kind of sense in my head. And I'm asking the women that are on this platform, when you work on a platform, kubwa kubwa, the analysts and everything, please, I know there are people who are going to be coming to request to climb on your platforms, to post those things. Do not be people when you want to enable revenge porn. Don't. Tapadali. Musikwe watu when you want to encourage revenge porn. Because let me tell you, today, imefanyikia nyako, kesho, itakuwa mwana mke mwingine. Because that is what these men do. They disrespect us constantly. And we cannot afford to be at a place where we are now divided. At least on revenge porn, let us speak one voice. Mimi hata sayi ni tumiwe uchi ya uwe ati vile na mchukia vibaya sana. Siwezi ni kashia. I can't do that. I would never do something like that. That's not who I am. Because I know the repercussions of revenge porn. I know what it has done because I've seen firsthand what, what, what revenge porn did to Rachel Shebesh. And I saw what it did to Millicent Omanga. I saw that. So I cannot be the same person spearheading the same. Never will I do that. I can't. So we need to be using our platforms to educate and create awareness and ensure that women understand that here on TikTok, ukikutana na mwanaume, tafadhali, you need to understand ukiamua kuenda kunyonga na mwanaume, kuna repercussions. Na mimi neza kuambia kwa sababu wezi jua kama mwanaume na kurekod. Please, dear women, aki kurekod, you also need to record. Don't be afraid of recording this man. Because they also record you. Please. Kama lazima unyonge na mwanaume hapa TikTok. Record. Nimewambia. Iyo ndiyo advice nitawapatia. Because bado video zinaenda kukuja mingi. Ziko mingi. Hata kuna magipta spia wanaunyonga. Hata wanawake kwa wanawake. Some of the stories that come from that platform ya Google Nation, they are so embarrassing. Zingine hata ni sad, hata na shinduanga kuziongea. Ju nina shanga, nina connect aje hii kitu. Ita kuajie. I've told you guys, record. Atuja kataza watu kukua wapenzi. Ehe, kweni tu wapenzi, hata wanawake kwa wanawake. Lakini, mimi ni mewambia. Hapana siri ya watu wawili. 
hapana siri ya watu wawili record akikurecord akiamua kuanika we pia anika don't be afraid ndio maana nawaambianga record these people because people will never ever accept that they did these things to you hawaidi kukubali There are some things that astaki kusema hapa juu ni aibu. Wengine wako na mabwana zao nikianza kuongea story zao ni aibu. Aibu sana. Non. Let us be responsible on TikTok, guys. I know that we can decide to have lovers even here on TikTok. We can decide to love each other. But I'm telling you everything that we do it has its consequences. consequences ziko and at the end of the day society looks so much on women and they they women are judged harshly women are judged harshly more than men i'm telling you women get the brunt the force do not ever underestimate the fact that women will be put down more than men So I'm just hoping that as women we must we need to learn and understand that if there are times when we need to come together there are times yenye lazima itabidi tukuje pamoja especially kama mwanaume anadhalilisha mwanamke we need to come together Na mimi nimekuambia big daddy kama hauta change your tabia kwa hii platform and you do not choose to be a better person on this platform please mimi nimekupatia nafasi and I hope that we can talk and continue talking. It will be time for women to start dissociating with your platform because a lot of the people that support you even financially are women. And you have no respect for them. That's something that we cannot really encourage. Why should people give you their money, women give you their money and you don't respect them? Why? Kwanin? It's very wrong. So you need to do better. You have that duty to do better. Thank you Mwaniki. Mw Thank you. So hapa kwa social media we have different kinds of people hapa kwa hii platform. But ile kitu moja nitawaacha nao is that one and I'm saying it very loudly and clearly. The person that chooses to share the videos without your consent is the person on the wrong. But while on the same breath As women, tukueni macho, let us practice responsible sex online. Hapa unakutana na mwanaume hapa ama mwanamke mwenzako hapa kwa, kwa TikTok, alafu all of a sudden ati unampenda, you don't even care. Hey, did you make me eggs, Baba? Please. Two egg, two. Huh? Uh, would you make for me some bacon and eggs? Two. Thank you. It's okay, make for me too. I'd like mine too. So Responsible sex is something that we need to cherish as women on this platform. Na wache ni niwaambie. Mnaona hizi alliances ziko hapa kwa TikTok na mkae mkijua. Amutege masikio, mnatega masikio ninaoongelesha. Are you guys listening? Mmeshika masikio, hebu mnipe masikio nataka kuambia siri. Mnipe masikio. Wekeni masikio hapa niwaambie siri moja. Sioni masikio zenu. Wekeni masikio niwaambie siri moja kuna gifta moja mwanamke alirekodi mtu wana uhusiano wa kimapenzi. Nimwapatia tu kidogo. So you are going to be recorded and you are going to continue being recorded and that is what is going to happen because at the end of the day these relationships that are formed on TikTok where there is no respect these relationships that are on TikTok that are based on money and there is no character there is no respect you are going to be disrespected utakosewa heshima na bado ndio imeanza sasa hii bado ni watu mtaona makubwa makubwa ndio zinakuja sasa makubwa watu ndio wata usema ah i don't go to people's inbox you go to people's inbox you beg people inbox 
So don't say you don't go to people's inbox. You literally beg women and men for sex kwa inbox. So don't say you don't you don't go because sasa hizo vitu zikikuja hapa utaweka kichwa yako wapi? I told you we need the face of this platform to change. We want this platform to be a place where people are going to coexist na tutakuwa na heshima hapa. A lot of the people when you are enable nyako akafika pali anafika ni wale wamekuwa wakimdanganya and I'm saying it again and I'm repeating it. She has three people that are poisonous to her. The number one poison to nyako is Gugu Nation because it's a crowd of people that have been brainwashed and there are people who have been enabling her lies and they laugh akidalilisha wanawake wenzake wanacheka kwa live akitusi wanawake akivua wanawake manguo wanacheka hapo na yeye wanamwencourage wanamwambia presda wewe ndio kiboko you are the best you are the golden fish in the in the in the, in the, in the fish tank hiyo ndio number, number one poison ya, ya nyako the second poison ya nyako walikuwa the gifters people who choose to give her money when she is embarrassing and shaming people and bringing people down they put money into a course where people are being dehumanized and shamed where people are being called names where women are being disrespected women are being body shamed women are being stripped naked and children are being abused and they put money into it they pour oil into that platform with their money to enable her to encourage her to make a to, to, yani, uh, they, they created a head swell and they gave her a false a false sense of importance and it stuck on her head they were part of the monster creation they created the monster they fed the monster put money in the hands of the monster and the monster became more empowered and gathered more courage and the third people the third poison ponyako are the friends and the women and the people who climb on the platform and uh, wale watu kama nani uh, kama huyu anajiita Farid Farid anafaa kupatiwa uh, nini pampas he needs to be given pampas na chupa but yani Farid chupa na maziwa nyonyange akiwa hapo kwa platform ya nyako eh? you know brother <laughs> yani ni, ni kama pumbavu mwana umepumbavu akili hakuna mjinga tu mpatie ni chupa anyonye someone who has no brain always agreeing with everything can never challenge nothing or ask question or put someone to task mvalisheni pampas na mumweke pampas mbili na mweke zingine stock zisimame pale na maziwa na chupa mpatieni kila siku mkiona farid kila mahali mkienda ku comment mumwekeeni hii chupa ya nyonyo anyonye maziwa kabisa ana behave kama mtoto mwenye ananyonya matiti akiona nyako ana behave kama mtoto wake mwenye ananyonya matiti Ana, anataka matiti An, anaenda kujifanya hivi he, 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 he. ametoa mdomo hivi anangoja matiti iweke kwa mdomo hala mwanaume mwanaume ina gani hivyo mjinga hala you sit down and talk about nothing but just hey hey president you don't worry hey mjinga tumbafu raura mpatie ni chupa anyonyange kila siku mnamchenjea kila siku mkimpatia uji leo kesho mpatie maziwa nyonyonyo 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 mkimwona kwa platform mpatie nyonyonyo nyonyonyo akwange nyonyonyo nyonyonyo hiyo ndio vile anafaa kuitwa anafaa kuitwa nyonyonyo nyonyonyo for read nyonyonyo nyonyonyo for that's what he does ni kunyonya tu nyonyonyo nyonyonyo how can you seem like that like a mad person Hala for what purpose Mtu akifanya makosa ako hapo nyonyonyo nyonyonyo Mam maziwa imeisha maziwa imeisha kwa chupa yangu maziwa imeisha kwa chupa yangu mam muniweke maziwa That is how it sounds to me 
anaombanga maziwa kila saa akiwa kwa platform anaomba maziwa every time ana nini kwanza anapa kuimbiwa ile wimbo ya baby shark baby shark du 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 mkimwona kwa platform umweke yake saa yote tu nu 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 mama 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 maziwa 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 mama hey nani mwanaume mzima spineless useless person hmm? ati wanaenda kufanya kikao ati wana discuss mtu akifanya makosa hawezi wakamrekebisha wanaenda kukaa pale kwa kikao eh hey, presda you know you are the only presda ne 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 you are chosen yawa na saa hii kuma yake ikiwa nje ni yake hamjisio yenu she is the one who's going to be facing the consequences of everything not you and you keep on lying to her 24/7 muna mdanganya kila siku ati you are just fine it's okay yatapita itakuwa sawa itapita wapi wewe itapita ikienda wapi alafu yeye pia anakuja kisha danganywa hapo ati muweke kwa billboard ha <laughs> nyo chekesha kama unajiamini weka yako kwa billboard kwanza tuone jiweke tuone kama unajiamini Mm. Mm. Msicheze. Don't play. Na msijifanye hapa. Usijifanye uko tough and you are not even tough my friend. Wewe uko tough. Wewe bado uko kwa baby class ya tough. That's why you keep on yelling and shouting and screaming. People who are tough we know them my friend. Mm? Ati mwenda siku hizi naona umetengeneza platform mpya ati mnaenda huko ati mnajifanya ati mkomboka kuna all of those people are lying to you those are just your enablers they are people who want to cheat you day in day out nilikwambia nini juu ya gigi si ndio hiyo it has come to pass it has come to pass but one of the things that you do na ninawaambia hapa mtu yote mwenye umeona hapa kwa hii platform mwenye ni simpa Mtu yote mwenye haizi akasimama peke yake eti ametoka kwa hii camp. Huyu Gigi Dollars ndiye alitusi Jacqueline na alisema haizi tusi Jacqueline. Alimfanyaje? What did she not say about Jacqueline? Akatoka kwa hiyo camp kwa sababu she's a psychopath and must have a team. Akarudi kwa nyako. Yaani mtu alikuwa kwa camp ya mtu akitusi mtu alafu wewe unamkaribisha ukifikiria at she is going to do better in your team. And the only reason you did that is because you you are, you wanted the money. You are willing to lower yourself. Just like Sai ati ameji amejishusha bei. Anajishusha bei mpaka anaenda kukaa na gigi kwa platform na gigi alimtusi. Yaani ile mzuri. Kwa sababu anategemea pesa na hela na coins. Amekubali kukaa na watu kwa platform hata na boss gun. Yaani na alimtusi na huyu ati mwenyewe ndio hata alitutafutia location ya Boscan na simu ya Boscan na email yake yeye ndiye alituma tukimpeleka pale uh, polisi Sasa yeye amejifanya hapo amekaa chini eti at she is the good person that she is the best eh, the best bean in the pod Ati she cares about Boscan ati ati you guy you know i was so tired i also did not want to get involved in these issues You didn't want to get in the issues involved in the issues and you are the one that you you sent the address for for Boscan and you didn't want to be involved in the issues. My dear, have a stand. You are a spineless, toothless barking dog. That is what you are. You bark when it's necessary, you bark when it adds cheap coins to you. And that is what you will continue doing on this platform because you need that. So kwa simpas na watakia kila laheri. Lakini kwa hii platform this idea of mom press there love you we care for you please shut it guys it's bullshit. Ambieni watu ukweli mtu akikosa call them out. Tell them the truth that they need to hear. Otherwise we are enablers and we are not helping the situation and the toxicity on this platform and my appeal again to women if you find those videos because you're going to find them please do not share them 
Do not share those videos. Do not have them on your platforms played. Do not put them on your platforms. Please, Nina Waomba, kindly, if you can. We can discuss this issue and we can do it with the respect that it deserves because this is a pertinent issue in actually in Kenya because we do know that we have we have tried so much to to ask and call for the government and even parliament to talk about violence digital violence i hope we can have sober discussions about this and around this because it's necessary it is time sawa sawa uh, other than that i want to thank all of you for